Clay.Earth is a really cool contact management tool, and they just recently released their new integration with Notion. So today I'm going to walk you through how to set up the integration and why this can be so beneficial for managing your contacts. The built-in integrations into Clay are fantastic and they offer a lot more than a standard CRM and a lot more than a normal free CRM would offer. You can add address books from iOS or your Android. You can connect it with your phone calls, with social media accounts like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and with thousands of other apps using Zapier. And now you can also link it with Notion. But the Notion integration isn't just a two-way sync. It's an incredible set of templates that the Clay team and Notion team have worked together to make really dynamic and really usable. Setting up this integration is as simple as clicking the plus sign next to the Notion option, signing in with your Notion account, and then you can have a choice between using their templates or connecting it to your own if you already have templates set up that you would like to use. I am choosing here to go ahead and use their new templates because I want to show you some of the cool things that we can do with this. It will take a few moments for all of this to sync up, but once it is, you have four new sections within this new Clay dashboard. First off, Clay has done a great job with this template. I think it's so cool looking and really fits their branding. It's just a fun way to introduce you to this new setup. First up is Clay Contacts. Clay Contacts is your kind of master database here that holds all of the same contact information as in your Clay account. And they do have a few sets of pre-populated views, such as the gallery view, which will allow you to see the avatars that you have uploaded into Clay. We have an update upcoming birthdays view, which is a great way to go through and see all of your contacts' birthdays on one calendar. We have a cities view, which will allow you to see a collection of the cities that people are in. Closest relationships, which matches the close relationships view in Clay. And recent, which will allow you to see the people that you've most recently communicated with. Of course, you can add your own views as needed here, but if we go back to the welcome screen, we can also see that there are a new catalog set of templates down here. The first one is a team CRM. This is fantastic if you are a business working on creating contracts and moving people through a lead funnel. So everyone starts off as a lead and we have a few groups such as in contact, negotiating, won and lost. And obviously you can update these to be actually true here, but if this is not something you want to use, you can easily remove this at any point. We have the address book, which is just a great way to see a gallery style view of the people that you contact with and the people that you have in your Clay account. And then one of my favorite dashboards is the birthday and gift dashboard. Not only does this give you a great view to see everybody's birthday, but it's also a great way to link up your database with maybe a gift ideas database. So let's walk through a few practical ways that you can utilize this new setup within your own Notion account. First up, let's create a new database and we're gonna call this one Gifts. This can be a way for us to collect a bunch of ideas for gifts throughout the year. So when we see a cool item that we like or we just think someone would like, we can add in the name of the item with a URL and then let's add in a price for the gift as well. I'm in the US, so we're gonna set this to US dollar. Let's say it's a blanket from Amazon and it is $50. Now we can add in our relational database and connect our new Clay Contact database to this. We can also choose if we want to show these gift ideas on the actual contact cards themselves. For this one, I'm not going to connect both. And we are just going to name this contact. Now we have full access to all of the contact list and we can add in which person we would like to give this gift to. And then let's go ahead and show a roll up of the birthday. That way we know when would be a good time to actually give the gift. Upcoming birthday, and there we go. I can further integrate this by using the Save to Notion extension from the Chrome Web Store, where I can save links directly from websites and add them into my gift ideas category. This allows me anytime I'm browsing the web to just quickly add the link into my gift ideas and then when it's someone's birthday coming up, I can just check my gift list and have an easy to access list of ideas for those people on their birthday. You could do something really similar for anniversaries, Christmas, holidays, or other events that you have connected within Clay. The best part about this integration is that there is a constant syncing happening between Clay and Notion. So when someone has a new social media post or if you add a birthday in Clay, 
Notion is automatically going to update for you so you always have the most up-to-date information for each of your contacts. Adding relational databases to your contact database can be a great way to add in additional meeting notes, projects, tasks, or even use it for things like trip planners. We have a Disney trip coming up with some friends of ours, and while normally we could just add them as guests on here, what we can also do is add a relational database to show who each person is. So I'm going to collect connect to my clay contacts. And now I have my contacts directly related to this database that otherwise I wouldn't have had their information connected to. This will be really helpful when booking hotels and flights because I'll easily have everyone's contact information in one place instead of having to go on the hunt for it. If you've been looking for something like this for a while, I hope that this is helpful for you. And if you have been using Clay or Notion separately, then hopefully this inspires you to get them integrated and connect them together to see what cool things you can do with it. If you would like more content like this, check out our Creator Essentials playlist, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.